I don't see the red numbers. And yeah, I'm on. Hey guys, what's up? This is G Pawn3789. I know the first thing you guys are asking is G Pawn3789, what's with the ghetto? Well, I have a job interview today. And I'm very excited. It seems to be a really good job. Um, if you would pardon me just for a moment, I got this paper right here. They are offering a base pay of, uh, where is it? Should be, yeah, fourteen fifty base. And then I get commission off every sale I do. I'm selling cutlery items or whatever, so I guess I'm selling knives. I have an interview with the manager today. I'm very excited. I got, I passed the preliminary, which is very good, meaning I have a shot for an actual job. I could actually get hired on the spot today. But I have an hour to kill right now, or even maybe a little less than an hour. Um, but I figured, why not make a video about what to do on a job interview? Because I've been on many that I haven't gotten. Many since I've been out to Florida, I've been turned down a lot for jobs. And I figured, since I'm dressed up like this, and my, I can give you my feelings right now before an interview. So it's kind of like a live reaction, I guess. So, yeah, I'm going to give you guys advice. Okay, how I feel right now. I am confident in my abilities, but I'm also nervous. I'm nervous because, for one, this tie is very uncomfortable. And two, I have a wedgie, but I have not been able to get out. Yes. And I'm probably going to have a wedgie when I sit down at that desk to have the interview. And, yeah. Uh... I'm also nervous that I'm not going to be able to get there on time because I'm new to the area. Um, I kind of have a general direction where I'm going, but I'm kind of scared I'm going to get lost. But yeah, I have my GPS. The lady told me on the phone that, that GPS sometimes gets the wrong direction. I have written directions too. But written directions are a pain in the ass because you're trying to drive and you try to look at the directions. So I'm probably going to have to pull over a half the time and just look where the hell I'm going. But she told me it's a bright orange building, which I'm actually very excited to see. I'm going to videotape it with my phone when I get out or when I'm done the interview and I'm leaving to get back in my car. I'm going to videotape the office just because it's a bright orange building when it's like Naruto style. I think like, really? When's, how many times in a lifetime you could see a bright orange building? So, yeah. So, I'm nervous, excited, and a little anxious. Now, I'm going to go over the do's and don'ts not doing an interview. Uh, I recently had an interview with Publix. Uh, it was a couple months ago. And if you don't know, it's a supermarket in Florida. Um, they're pretty much just like a mini mark. Like if you watch Simpsons, like the Quickie Mart. So I said uh, the Quickie Mart, they actually sell good stuff. But yeah, anyway, um, I applied there. Uh, I got to speak with the manager. And the manager can automatically tell I was nervous. They're like, we'll try to calm me down. And I didn't think I was nervous, but. When I was starting to listen to myself talk, I could hear my voice getting nervous, sounding like it cracked a little bit, but yeah. That's something you want to avoid. They judge you from the first moment you meet eyes. Now see, I'm going to go over what I did right and what I did wrong. I looked the guy straight in the eye. I shook his hand with a firm handshake. And also, if you have a woman, um, you give a firm handshake, but not enough to like hurt her hand. Just a medium handshake. Some people just do firm handshakes. You don't want to do it too tight. You just have to have the right amount of squeeze, but yeah, back on top. Oh, I kind of had to do a top, but anyway, yeah. Shook the hand, looked directly in the eyes, and said my name. Very nice to meet you, sir. And yeah, the only thing I did wrong was I had a nervous voice, and when I sat down at the interview, I didn't answer questions like that. I waited a little bit to think, and I think I might have waited a little bit too long. Um, an interview should last about an hour. Mine lasted 15 minutes. So I knew when I was walking out, I did not get the job. Also, when I was leaving, I accidentally walked ahead of the guy and I saw him glare at me. So at that moment, I also knew I wasn't going to get the job. So when I got back in my car, I was depressed as hell. And I bought myself a pizza. That's my depression food, my happy food, and my every kind of food. But yeah, um, I had another job interview. Um, this was at a Walmart. And it was for the gardening department. This was more recent where I think that was, uh, let's see, today is April, it's May now, April. That was probably March. And uh, March, probably the beginning of March, middle maybe. But yeah. So I go, I go into the back room. And that back room in Walmart, you always wonder what it is. I actually got to see it. It's a workshop pretty much. You can, there's actually offices and desks and computers back there. So you go back there, you sit at the desk. Lady was talking to me, all that. She loved me. 
I, she pretty much she loved it. She, I was talking about my YouTube channel. I was using it as a reference. I was doing very good. Well, only reason why I didn't get that job is because I mentioned I'm going to far. I'm going not far. I'm going to Missouri Western State University. I will have to leave in August. They wanted a full-time employee, most likely, or somebody that can work part-time a little bit longer. That's the only reason why I didn't get that job. But with this company, I'm glad because it says right here, it's a summer job, and uh, which I like. And they work around college students' schedules. I won't be here when I'm in college, though. But they told me it's uh, fine, and I'm going to the university. Actually, it works to my benefit because I'm going for computer science. And they need somebody that can fix their computers too. So I might get paid to do fix computers and uh, I might get paid to make sales, which I also kind of like because when I'm making the sales, I get my own little cubicle. I never had that. I get my own little office, I get my own desk, I get my own computer. It's very nice. And you got to think my office hours are from 9 to 6 if I work there. So let's count 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, yeah, that's about. Wow, I'm really bad at math. Give me a second. Because I already forgot. 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's nine hours of work. It's about $100 something. If I'm rounding it in my head, about $100, maybe 120 or something that I'm making a week, which I'm also going to be putting a lot towards the YouTube channel. I'm going to say that now. Uh, if I get this job, I'm going to save a lot for college, which is probably going to be is this. 80% college, wait, no, 70% college, 20% food, 10% YouTube. I know that sounds low, but when you really think about what my 10% is, it's going to mount up. And then you also got to remember, there's a lot of members of the channel that are going to be donating their money in, so it'll work. But, yeah, anyway, um, the do's and don'ts, let's get back to that. Um, you have to have confidence in your voice. Your voice and eye contact are the biggest things. When employers want to hire, especially for a store person or a salesperson, they want to know you can handle people. They want to know you can deal with people. They want to know if you want to talk to people. I'm very good with people. I love meeting new people. Just when I'm at the interview, I get nervous a lot. So today, I'm going to work very hard to keep my voice exactly like I'm talking to you guys. I'm going to welcome straight in the eye. Eye contact. I'm not going to be like... Hey, hey, hey. No, no, I'm just going to keep normal eye contact, talk to him like he's a normal person, but also like he's my boss. And I'm going to show him respect and tell him my abilities, give him my work experience, uh, tell him what I can bring to the company, tell him that I'm very good with people. I can pretty much guarantee that I will bring in sales to this company. And yeah, I'm hoping I'll get the job, but, but just mainly stay confident. You, the worst case scenario, you don't get the job. If you're nervous, you're definitely not going to get the job. But if you're calm, you at least got a shot to get the job. And I know some people, me, I need this job very badly. I'm nervous for another thing. Um, I'm running low on food. I'm, I'm having trouble paying my rent. Um, I need this job more than anything. But I'm not going to act like I'm nervous. And I actually uh, do with my parents right now um because i'm gonna go to college but things have been tough with the economy i they are having trouble paying the rent i want to help them i want to start paying i want to start giving them more than what i've been giving them i want to help pay for some of the food because it's bad even when i'm in college i'm going to send them money but yeah anyway that's my advice with interview it's all in the voice and the eye contact and how you act the way you act is important but yeah, anyway guys, this is Gpong3789, some um, little advice for uh, job interviews. I know I kind of rambled on a little bit, but <laughs> I'm known for that. And uh, also, if you want to put in the comments how good I look, I would not complain. Because in all honesty, I think I look good. I know, Alan, I know you're going to watch this. I know, Ryan, you're going to watch this too. You're going to leave a bad comment. I know. But there's a difference. I will not give a shit. And all my fangirls will come after you. Because, yeah, I totally have fangirls. I'm kidding. Anyway, guys. This is, yeah, I'm actually signing off now because I got to... Uh, it's 11.46. I got to get out of here by 12.30. And I kind of want to get something in my stomach before I go. So I'm going to go make something. And peace, guys.